Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and Happy New Year. To those of you that celebrate or are aware of the Chinese New Year, this is the year of the rabbit starting today. And uh, Mori Sensei has, got, has sent us a fantastic rabbit, uh, which actually says 22-1-2023. So uh, those are the Western values of today's date, but uh, brilliant. I mean, what a, what a fantastic idea. Um, looking forward to having a go at that. Don't forget all the stuff on Patreon, and uh, we've got we've got a brilliant hunt coming up for the beginning of February. It's by uh, Philip Bloomer, also known as Glum Hippo, and it is all about X Y differences. You will love it. Do join us on Patreon. It's easier than the last two, but it's not easy. Anyway, uh, that's coming up on Patreon. If you want slightly easier puzzles. Uh, some are hard. Do check out our apps. There is a variety of puzzles of the various different variant types that we do regularly. Um, but we don't yet have an app about modular line puzzles. There's also the merchandise and uh, catalogue, which I just checked. Uh, this is a debut for Mori Sensei is God on the channel, and uh, very welcome they are too. Um, now, what's going on in this puzzle? Let's have a look at it. It's got a modular line, a huge red modular line, and I'll explain, I'll explain how that works as we go through the rules. Which are these? Normal Sudoku rules apply. So that's putting the one the numbers one to nine in every row, column, and three by three box. Um, any so on the red modular line, any three consecutive digits. So for instance, those three or those three must have different remainders when divided by three. So what that means is that one of them comes from the set 147, one of them comes from the set 258, and one of them comes from the set 369. And the way to memorize those sets, perhaps, is to use your keypad and use the left-hand column of it, the middle column, and the right-hand column. Those are the groups of digits. And every group of three cells on this line has one each of those groups. That is a modular line. We have done puzzles with modular lines before, but not often and not recently. Now, a clue outside the grid, so these are the little killer clues, gives the sum of the digits on the marked diagonal. So those ones add up to 22. They can include repeats. Um, digits on the grey circles are... They're not necessarily odd this time. Digits on the grey circles sum to a factor of 2023, the year in Western nomenclature. And digits on the grey line sum to a multiple of eight. It's up to the solver to deduce these sums. Wow, so we just get the module. It's not a lot of information, is it? Do give it a try on the link under the video. No idea how difficult this is going to prove to be, but I am going to start now. Happy New Year, and let's get cracking. So, here's an easy write-in with that one clue. A one little killer clue is always going to be easy. That is a knowledge bomb from Cracking the Cryptic. 23 in three different digits, because they're all in the same box, must be 986. Ah, hang on, this 20... This is quite limited. Right, the maximum value for this diagonal, as you know, if you watched me doing the Caribde and Scylla puzzle recently, in a regular Sudoku is 18, and that is because each set of three digits could be one, two, three at a minimum, and three lots of six are 18. So this diagonal has got two degrees of freedom, and that means each number could be up to two more than the minimum. So I'm going to write one, two, three, four, five as possibilities in all of those cells. But we can go a bit further. Those two can't have a one in because there's already a one there. Now, even positing two of the sets at absolute minima, one, two, three, and one, two, three, they add up to 12. The maximum the other one can add up to is eight. And they've all, therefore, all these three sets have got a one in. Well, we know where it is in that group. And I'm just going to corner mark the one to say that somewhere in these three positions in this box is residing the one. Now, I don't think there's anything else I can do. I Okay, hang on. 
before I look at the modular line, which I am putting off as long as possible, although actually we might be gathering a bit of data, not sure. Well, I'm still putting that off. I'm going to look at these circles. Now, you might be terrified of the idea of finding the factors of 2023, but I think I read a post on Twitter from Verlaine recently, Matthew Marcus, who's a brilliant crossword solver, excellent general puzzleist, and I think he did his version of Hardy v. Ramanujan, um, and somebody had said, 2023 is such a boring number, how am I ever going to remember the year? And he said something like, nonsense, it's 7 squared times 11 times 17 or something. It's, I think it's got some interesting odd factors, so I'm just going to aid memoir it here. Um, 2023, oh, let's try 7. If we divide that by 7, 7 into 20 gives 2, leaving a 6 remainder. 7 into 62 gives, so I'm doing long division here, 7 into 20, 2 whole 7s and a 6 left over. So I write a 2, I put the 6 imaginary in my head before the 2, 7 into 62, there's 8 of them, is 56, leaves a 6 left over, yes. 7 is a factor, so those could add up to 7, although they can't. Um, 289, now that's a square. I think that is the square of 17. 17 times 17, I just want to do that in a little aid memoir over here because I need to be careful when I'm doing this. I think I would just go ahead on my own and assume it, but 17 times 17 is... Or is 49 plus 70, 119, plus another 170. 119 plus 170, yes, that is 289. Okay, so the factors of 2023 are 7, 17, and 17. Now, what does them... You see, these, they could have added up to 7 until we established there was a 1 in those cells, and then they can't be 1, 2, 4 anymore. So 7 is not the factor. 17 is certainly a possibility, and I think it's the only possibility, because to get the other factors, you'd have to multiply two of these numbers together. So 17 times 7, whatever that is, is a factor of 2023, and 289 is a factor of 2023. But I think we've established them all. Those, those numbers, whatever they are, are clearly far too large to be the sums of these digits, which therefore add up to 17. That has taken a while to establish, and I can't do anything with it, but I'm going to remember that these numbers add up to 17. Now this one, first of all, I was looking at these five cells and going, how can they possibly be a factor of 8? But the rules very clearly say multiple of 8, which is a different thing. So these either add up to 16, which is the f next multiple of 8, and that's possible. They could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. 24, there's a lot of possible ways of doing it. 32, there are three or four ways of making 32. So, I don't know. I think we'll have to approach that later. Can't really do that now. And finally, Mr. Modular Line, or Mr. Bunny's Modular Line. Now, 6, 8, and 9 come from two groups. Let us call the 147 group blue, the 258 group yellow, and the 369 group red. We really ought to have the Chinese color involved. So these 6, 8, and 9 come from the yellow and red group. And that means that if you add up these three digits, or sorry, if you take these three digits, one of them has to be from the blue group. That's what the modular line rule means. So that's blue. And then I think we can keep going round. These two must be a yellow-red pair. And because they're a yellow-red pair, and I'm thinking considering those three cells, then when you consider those three cells, you need a blue, and that's got to be there. And the way this works around a module line is every three cells, it's going to be the same group that the digit comes from. So we can, oops, we can be very careful in our count and colour all of these blue cells. One, two, three, and hopefully we get back to three away from that one. We do. Right, these blues, they're all from one, four, and seven, and we have formed a number of triples. 
we've got a triple in, well, first of all, this one, which was going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, is now 1 or 4. Um, I'm going to fill in all the blues with 1, 4, 7, apart from that one. And this one can't be 1. Therefore, one of these is a 1 in this row, because we've got 3 in that row. And this one, the third in its box, can't be a 1. Uh, this one can't be a 1, because there's definitely a 1 in that group of cells. And that might be all we can do, which is a bit frustrating. Now, I do also need to consider this modular line, but I don't know anything about it. No, not yet. 22 diagonal, I don't think that's helpful. 22 is too average a number. Well, it's a bit low, actually, but I still don't think we can do anything with it yet. So what can we do? Ah. No. I was wondering if the 17 in these circles plus at least six there gave us a useful total, but it doesn't actually. Okay, need to, th okay, what I'm gonna do actually, red and yellow are gonna be the colors. But for now, I'm going to put placeholder colours around the rest of the line every three cells away, just to see if we can find any relationships between the groups. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm going to make all of those orange. All the remaining cells on the line are purple. And obviously, these orange and purple are going to become red and yellow when we know which way round these two go. Ah, actually, since 8 is the only value from 258, it must be one of those two. It can't be there. Okay. That is not a thrilling deduction, but I have just worked it out. Oh, I suppose I might end up colouring the whole grid. I hadn't thought about this at all. But it might be helpful to find all oranges, red, or sorry, all reds, yellows, and blues in the whole grid in the end. That's quite a thought. Um, right, hang on. The six, yeah, okay, so I'm going to colour 6 and 9, which we decided was red. That is the group 3, 6, 9. Now, in this row, I've already got mm, one red, one blue, and that is either red or yellow. Now, along the line, I'm going to have two of each of two of the colours, and then that central one will be a third. I don't know. I don't have enough information, I don't think, yet. Ah, this one sees three blues in its column. So that is red or yellow. So that is red or yellow. And therefore, that is not one or four. That's slightly interesting. Um, this is not one, but one of these three must be one. There, we've got something. Got a second digit in the grid, and it's another one in a corner. Um, this can't be one because it's orange, and orange is one of red or yellow, so that is not one or four. This is a one, and this is not a one. As a result, one is of course, a blue digit. Yeah, I'm going to try and colour the whole grid, I think. Um, now, this group must have a 2 in now. It can't be 1, 3, 5, or that would be 9 in this area, and that would have too many. You'd, you'd leave too few for these things. Ah, these two are from the same group. That's interesting. That is interesting. Uh, I'm looking at my keypad now. They could be 2-5, but they they can't involve a 3 or a 4 because there wouldn't be another one in that group. That must be a 2-5 pair. Ah, bingo. So that uses up all the degrees of freedom. We must then have 1-2-3 in the remaining cells. That is a 1 on this diagonal I'm talking about. 4-5 pair there. Get rid of the 1. This is a 2 and a 3. 
uh, don't know which way round they go, or do I? Yes, I do. Orange has become what I was going to call yellow. So let's highlight all the orange and make it yellow. There we go. That means this... No. Oh, something's gone wrong with my marking. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. I've messed something up. Because down here, I've got yellow only five cells apart. What have I done wrong and does it matter yet? Well, it obviously matters. Look, I've missed this out entirely. So after I got round this... Oh, okay, I'm just going back a bit, but I know how to go forward. So I got the colouring wrong with orange and purple. My apologies, all. Okay, so I did that and I'd missed a cell up here. Not that. No, there we go. This is better. I thought I'd check this at the end. I obviously hadn't. Let's make those orange. Ah, oh, good. Those are still going to be orange together. Thank goodness for that. Everything else on the line, and I'm checking this time that they're three apart, is purple. Right. Now, this still applies then. These are still having to be the same. They must be a 2-5 pair. Orange is therefore yellow. Good. Purple is red. And now we're getting this grid properly coloured. And we've got one, two, five. We're going to have one, two, threes in these sections again. So one there and a two, three pair. I should have just got rid of all the markings. This is a one, two, three. Now, did this still... Now, I'm not sure if this did work because how did I determine that wasn't blue? Well, I determined that wasn't blue, and that's still the case. That is red or yellow, because it's got three blues in its column, so it can't be one, four, or seven. So that, which is three away on this modular line, is also red or yellow. That does work. It's not a one. This isn't a one, because it's red. So this is a one in the corner. Those two go blue. That one I had worked out is red. And this is a 2-3 pair now. But red can only be 3 out of that. So that's a 3. That's a 2. So this is now a yellow cell. That's also a yellow cell. Um, did I know that there was only one blue on the line? Or do I know there could be two? That's not a good deduction. Uh, I've got a 4-7 pair in row 3 now, so that's a 1. That's on the 22 diagonal, that's quite interesting. Um, right, 2 and 3 are red and yellow in some order. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's any obvious way. No, I don't know. Right, let's get rid of green colouring. That's just getting in the way now. Now, the three yellows are gone. OK, that's getting interesting. So my total of 17 doesn't include 3, 6, 9, 1 or 2. So I've got to make this up from 4, 5, 7 and 8, which means I can add those up and subtract one of them to get 17. They add up to 24, subtract the 7. 4, 5, 8 are are these digits, are the digits that add up to 17 here. And the others, that's a 6-9 pair, because they're yellow. That's a 7, and I can colour it blue. And that's also given me a 4 and a 7 up at the top of the bunny's ears. Oh, and this has gone wrong. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. What have I done wrong now? Oh, Mark. How can it be? Is my totaling wrong? No, 8 plus 4 plus 5 is 7. I swear that I've done everything right. I obviously haven't. These are yellow on the line. 2 and 3 have to be 1 yellow and 1 red. Ah, the yellows are not 6 and 9, they're 5 and 8. Right, that's better. Man is a numpty. 
four, six, seven, nine are what I'm selecting from now, and they add up to 26. Take away the nine, and they add up to 17, and the nine goes here. Nine is red. There we go. Phew, that was a terrifying, terrifying moment. Now, four, six, and seven are two blues and a red. Ooh. Okay, if this cell was red, then I couldn't put another red in the central column because there'd be three reds, and I couldn't put another red in the central row because there'd be three reds, and none of four, six, or seven could be red. So that's not red, that's yellow. That one's red, the red is the three, the yellow is the two. I must try and remember these groups better. Now, now I have less information about the four, six, seven, but it enabled me to place those, which is a bit weird. We get a five or eight up here. Those are five or eight. Ooh, the, oh yes, yeah, six, eight, and nine. Well, we know these colors now. That is not red, and that is not yellow, and the yellow one is an eight, so that's here. And that's not an eight, it's six or nine. So that is two or five. That is two or five. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put in all these colors, I just want to. I mean, sorry, I'm gonna put in the numbers on the colors because they might spark something at some point. Now, we've still got, we've done the 20, the 20 diagonal. We've still got the 22 diagonal to go. But I still don't think we've got a lot of information for that. We've got the rabbit's teeth to go. I don't know. Hang on, let, let's see if we can establish the row values here. I don't know, one red, one blue. That's going to be two of one. And then that is going to be the same as that. But I don't think I have information on how they break down. Oh, these two can't be yellow. How about that? Not really worth a lot. That's not a three. Just seen that. Hmm, what am I meant to be doing at this stage? Probably Sudoku. That's quite a strange idea. Three in this box, for instance, is in one of those two cells, and that's not a three. So in fact, this is a six, nine pair, and the three in the box goes in one of those two. Um, I don't know, maybe there is enough to, to do a bit. It feels like the colors are, are much more dominant in terms of what we're getting done than the numbers. But you just never know, you might find something too. I don't want to start thinking about, ah, well, okay. I'm going to start thinking about this. It doesn't add up to 16, because that would be one, two, three, four, six. And this cell is five or eight. That is not one of those numbers. So this either adds up to 24 or 32. If it added up to 32, these other cells would add up to 13. Ah. And that's one of each. So if I take the minimum values of each, that's nine. This would have to be blue, which is a weird way of looking at it. If this added up to 32, that multiple of eight, this would be blue. That's a very strange deduction. But I do sort of see that if you want to make these four cells add up to 13, you're doing all of these candidates are multiples of three away from each other, or differences of three away from each other. Now, I don't know. I don't, don't think that's wildly profitable. Is it the 22 diagonal? Are I really meant to look at that? It's just so much scope for those numbers to be anything. I don't think it's worth it. Maybe I just have to find places where groups of impossible digits cross each other. Ugh. Or maybe I have to start colouring 
further colouring the colours. Right, I'm going to think about that. If I was to start colouring blues, I would know that that is the same as that is the same as that. Reds. Reds were a bit appealing. That one, I don't know, because it's the three-digit nature of the possibilities that makes that. Colouring works quite well when there are two possibilities for each digit. Less so, I think, when there are three. Ah, one, one. Yes, Sudoku. There's a one in one of those cells, so that's not a one. Um... So one is on the line somewhere. It's not there. One is either there or there. In fact, there is a one in one of these two cells. That is just Sudoku. There's a one in one of those two. And one of those three three, but it could easily be the blue cell. Hmm. Can I do any more with threes? I don't think so. Just because I've got these two threes. I've also got two twos in the grid. Actually posted as digits. It doesn't really get a lot done. That's so frustrating. Ah, four seven pair. Looking at that cell. That's a six. These other two are four, seven, and a blue. The six color is red. Ah, so they can't be six. What else does that do? Got four, seven here. So there is a one down here, but no other blue digit. In fact, no, that's not true. There is a blue and, and a red in those two cells. I'm not going to part colour that because it's a bit yucky. That one's not blue because it sees all three blue. Ah, oh, it sees three, six and nine as well. Weird. So that's not blue or red. That's yellow. Um, oh, I'd love to get a count on this sum in some way. If I can get four of the colours on this, I, I will know the fifth, which is weird but true. Those are blue and red. If those are blue and red, hang on, hang on, hang on, yes. If those are blue and red, I can count up the colours in this box. Those are also a blue-red mix. Right. Let's take the minimum values these could be. Oh, no, but I don't know if this adds up to... 24 or 32. I know it's not 16. Ow, oh, bother. Right, the blue is at least a 4. So let's take the minimum values. 4 for blue, 6 for red there. That already adds up to 10. Then let's say 5 and 2 here for the two yellows is 17. Then this could be a single blue one to no not 18 18 is not a factor a multiple of 8 we need to get to 24 hmm that can't be a 7 but it could be a 1 and then you could add 3 to these potential minimum values oh bother I don't know how this works I know that's blue or red um, oh, here's, okay, here's a neat way that I had not considered. There's probably another way of seeing this as well. Where do the reds go in this row? We've got one there. We can have a maximum of one there. Well, we can only have a maximum of one here because there's already two reds in the box. So there is one there. That's also red. That's not red because there's a red there and two reds there. And there's only three in every row, column and box. Right, now, that's become blue. That becomes blue because it's three away on the line. That becomes red. This is red. This is blue and is a one because we've got four, seven in the column. Oh, this has taken a while, hasn't it? I'm sorry, but I don't think this puzzle's easy to understand, frankly. 
3, 6 or 9 there. This has to be red to complete the count in the row. Now we've got a yellow and blue there. I can't really deal with them. We've got a yellow and blue here, but yellow can't be here because there's three yellows in the column. That's blue, that's yellow, and we've got yellow and red to place down here. Okay, now that is four or seven. Now our count here. We did get a one there. That was exactly the thing I was positing. So we get a four or seven here. This is six or nine. So the minimum values of the, well, can we get up to 32? And the answer is no, because we've got a one on this five cell line. The maximum value of those four, which actually, well, it's almost possible, nine, eight, seven, six would be 30, plus one is 31 only. So this line adds up to 24 specifically. And we've got a one on it. So the others add up to 23. Let's take the minima, 10, 15, 17. So we have to add two lots of three to that minimum, minima value. I don't know where we're going to do that. We could increase the blue number by three, the red number by three. We could actually increase the minimum two, five by three or by six by going two, eight or five, eight. So unfortunately, that remains an unsolved mystery. However, the colouring has been helped. We must be able to colour this. It's yellow. That's the third one in the column. This pair is one red, which is a three, and one yellow. Uh, these are from, well, they are six and nine. Six and nine there. That's a three. Ah, okay. Well, maybe I do a quick think about no, three was never a possibility on this line. It hasn't changed anything, which is annoying. That's two or five. One of those is an eight, because that isn't. Okay, so that's brought our minimum up. Four, six, one, two, eight is now our minimum, which adds up to 21. Only one of those numbers is going to be boosted up further. This is interesting. I do want to keep going. Come on. What can we do next? Now, I'm, I mean, I'm getting more information all the time. So going back to this, this idea of colouring the colours is quite appealing. So I'm going to flash the reds with a bit of orange in one case and green in the other. They must contrast in the rows and the boxes and the columns. Then these oranges look up to there. That's green. That's orange. But I only want to be doing sixes and nines. Now, this might reveal something. Or it might not. It hasn't really done so yet. It does reveal that that is not six or nine because it sees both colors. However, I think that could be a three. And that doesn't stop it, therefore, being red. We've had the three blues in this. We had them ages ago. Yeah, it'd be good to find some... Look, we've had three reds in this row. Oh, I don't know. Somewhere where these meet and uh, tell us a colour. Um... So the only things I have left to do with numbers are the 22 diagonal and this, which is going to increase one of its pieces, one of its minima, by three, by one tick. Oh, crikey, how do we make progress here? Come on, bunny, spill your secrets. What's going on? Can't be the 22 diagonal, can it? I don't think it can. Because I just don't know enough about these cells at all. I've got one blue and one red to put in this column. The only yellow in this row to go in is a two. That's not yellow. That's not yellow. Could it be blue? I think it could. 
Uh, I don't know where I'm looking. Maybe this coloring. Let's, can I color all the yellows? Is it just because yellow is a more striking color that that's appealing? I don't know. I wanted to get something done with the sixes and nines, didn't I? But I don't have enough three information. Maybe that's the problem there. Two has to be in one of those cells. No, I don't know. I don't know what you can do. I don't think there's any point colouring the yellows. They just don't flow around the grid in the same way that even the reds did. Oh, look, that sees green and orange, so it's not six or nine. How long does it take? That's exactly what I was looking for and I couldn't see it. So this one sees orange and is not three. That's green. Right, where does orange go up here? Not there, not there, it's here. Right, that is actual information. That is six or nine. This one is blue, is four or seven. Now, come on, let's keep going. Where does orange is in one of those two? Um, three, no. Oh, this is a three because it sees six, nine in its column. That's a nine. Oh, is that orange or green? Oh, look, no, do I? No, I don't know these. That's one of each. I want to disambiguate orange and green now. But these middle rows, I don't really have much clue. One of the red green is up here in one of those cells. Red orange is there in one of those. Three is in one of those. I mean, I did kind of get the info I wanted here, but it didn't lead to much. Now, these are eight and a blue four or seven. If that was eight, that would really be providing quite a lot of information. Ah, this doesn't work. Look at that. If this was eight, that would be five. That would be two. If this was eight, five, two, five, eight... But that would also be eight, and they'd be sitting next to each other. So, I mean, it's a bit of a look ahead, but I'm taking it. That is not eight. This is. It's yellow. Um, that's blue. That's a four, seven pair. So this can't be blue. Well, come on. That can't be... Oh, it could be a one. Bother. That can't be blue, and that can't be blue, but they don't have... Yeah, hang on, this can't be red because it's looking at six, nine in the row and three in the column. That's yellow, that's red, that's three in the corner. Losing its religion. Um, we've got yellows done here. We need an eight in one of these cells because there's a five, eight pair looking at that one. So that's a one, eight pair. This, we know its color. It is red. It is red with a flash of green, six, nine. Um, I do, it doesn't tell me anything about these or that. So I've got all these coloured six nines in the grid, but then I've got three actual sixes and nines, and I don't know what colour they are. Uh, but I do know there's no more red in this row. What about orange? I've got one there somewhere. Well, one in one of those two cells. Can't be here, because we've got all three reds in this row. That's kind of interesting. That can't be... Well, it can't be orange or green shade of red. Hmm... Oh, I don't know. Still got nothing on the 22 diagonal, so I'm going to have to keep monkeying around with these. Well, maybe it's time to colour twos and fives and things like that. 
Although, I don't know, that's a population of five digits that don't look across to anything except that. And, well, and it did help up here. I could work on the basis that that 5-8, if that was 5-8 at the top, this would be a deadly pattern. And I'm not sure that would be cleaned up by anything else. So that seems unlikely, but we're not... We don't like to use deadly patterns when we're explaining logical solutions because it relies on the fact that the constructor has constructed a puzzle with only one possible solution. And although I'm sure he, he has in this case, um, part of what we're doing is proving that there is only one logical solution and that wouldn't work if we relied on Uh, uniqueness as a solution strategy so not going to do that now come on come on if that's a one that's a one it's a strange one eight pair I could color these four sevens yes that's gonna be interesting right we'll have a purple and a gray four seven so that's purple that's gray that's purple that's gray that, these do look around a lot, don't they? That's purple. That's grey, which is a very hard thing to see. That's purple. That's grey. That's purple. That's grey. Come on, this must do something. So, there's, where's there? We've got six purples in columns four to nine. We're going to need another purple up here somewhere. One in those three one in those two. We're going to need greys. Oh, we need a grey in one of those two. Well, that's telling me, I suppose, that this is not blue. It's not three or nine. It's not eight. So it's two, five or six. If I could establish that they were different to two fives, I could resolve it, but they're not. They're the same. Frustrating. Wow, really getting bogged down in this. I wonder if there is a better way to solve it. I'm, I mean, if there is, who knows? There's an eight in one of those. So there's definitely an eight in one of those. And there has to be an 8 somewhere here. There's an 8 somewhere here, but that's a huge area to mark. Um, no, that's not useful. Bother! There's a grey 47. Oh no, it's there. Okay, 16947. Three and two or five up here. If that was yellow, I can't believe it's this diagonal. I mean, it's just, I haven't pencil marked it until now, but I can't believe that it's interesting. These are the possible digits on it. The minima add up to 2, 6, 7, 10, 11, 13, with a degree of freedom of 9. That's enormous. The maxima are even worse, I imagine. 5, 12, 13, and a, oh, it's 8, 7, 6 here. It's 34. That's a 12 degree of freedom. That just doesn't help. So is there something else that I ought to know? Something else that two things are looking at that are very helpful together. That's the sort of thing we need more of here. Now the colouring is getting very distracting and hard to actually fathom. Which is not helping my cause in any way. I've just got to keep soldiering on, I think. Um... Just checking all the clues. 
There was no extra rule. We've used the factors and the multiples. To an extent, we've used the factors and the multiples. No, I've just remembered something. I don't think... Can that be 5, 8? See, the minimum here is 10, 11. If that was 5, 8... Oh, that would make 24. So it is allowed to be 5, 8. Bother. But then this would be 4, 6. If that was 5, 8 and didn't have a 2, this would be 4, 6, and there would be a 2 here. Now, is there a problem somewhere coming from that? This 22, that just... I don't have enough information. Oh, that can't be yellow, I've just seen. It sees a 2 and a 5A pair. So it can't... Well, I didn't actually have a yellow possibility. In fact, the pencil marking ruled that out. That, that doesn't help. I don't think I can use that yet. This is very frustrating. 8, 1, the 2s and the 5s, I suppose that's one of them. Is it about... There is an 8 in these, isn't there? Yeah, that's how I knew, yeah, we're allowing for an 8 having to be there to prove that... The other digits can only increase by one. Oh, there must be somewhere that there are a purple and a grey looking together, so it can't be a 4-7 or something like that. The trouble is that boxes 1 and 4 are so unpopulated at the moment that they're just providing me with no information. If that was a 1, this would be a 4-7 pair. How do we keep going in this puzzle? Mori Sensei is God. What are you doing to us? It's a very cruel puzzle. Okay, that can't be red. Oh, look, that can't be blue either. It can't be red because it sees both the flavors of 6, 9, and a 3. It can't be blue because there's three blues in the row. So it is yellow, which makes it a big candidate for that 8. But... Does it do anything else? I don't think that does anything. I mean, you know, you get excited spotting something like that. This can't be red either. Because it sees three and a six, nine pair. Yeah, you get very excited about spotting one colour in a in a cell, and it does nothing for the solve. That is a frustration about this, I have to say. If you're seeing something very obvious, all I can do is apologise. Right, there's a three in one of those two cells, definitely. That is just good old Sudoku talking. So if it was there on the diagonal, I don't know, I think it's quite likely it is. Because these numbers have to be kept fairly low, just not very low. Is there something about 22 as a number? In terms of the, the adding the different modulo numbers. Um, I cannot see it. I cannot see what to do at this point. It's a very difficult puzzle. And it's very difficult late on, which is quite frustrating, I must say. So there are ways that these numbers interact, but do they correspond to ways that numbers interact on this diagonal? If we were to make this a 5-8 pair, that would be a 2-3 pair. 
there was a rule about well if there was a rule about numbers not repeating on this diagonal I don't think this could be made to work at all and there isn't maybe it could it could be one two three four five seven I don't know that's not the rule set I'm just I'm just messing with myself to some extent at this point um, I don't think we can color the yellows because we just haven't got enough information. Maybe we can do the same sort of thing though. If that was two, that would be two, that would be two, that would be two, that would be two, would be two. one of those would be two, those already are two, one of those would be two. Seems to work. That was two, that's two, that's two, that's two. There's a two somewhere on the right. These are obviously already given. Sure, this will work fine. One of those is a two and we go no further. There's one more. There's one more collocation somewhere of cells looking at each other. We know that that can't be blue. I've done that. Where is the blue-grey 4-7? It's in one of these two, along with a further... No, not... Well, whatever isn't in that out of yellow... Well, out of 2, 5 and 6, specifically. Well, that's interesting, because that would have to be the grey, unless this is a 5. This can't be 2 or 6, so out of 2, 5 and 6, it could only be 5. I don't know what that means at all. Okay, let's go back to if there's no 2 here. If this is 5 and 8, then that's 4 and 6. And that is, that is telling me all the colours, basically. So if that's 5 and 8, 4 is grey, 6 is green. That's a 7, which is quite big. Um... So on this, you would have a 7 and a 1 is 8. You'd have to keep the others down to 14. That couldn't be a 4 anymore. It's interesting. It might actually feed around the grid a bit. If that was 5, 8, that would be 2. That would be 2. That would be 2. And now this couldn't be two. Okay, something's up here. Um, so it's all based on that being five eight. This becomes four six to make the multiple work. Then this suddenly has to be at least well, it can't be 4 either. So that becomes at least 5. Now we're up to 6, 13. I have to keep the rest down to 9. If I can keep exploding l small digits, then we actually get somewhere. I think it's too difficult. It's too difficult. It's too far. I mean, you could do it by bifurcating, but that is that's a form of cheating, I think. Well, certainly how we would try and regard it. Um, sorry if I'm just missing something. There, there, there is a reasonable chance of that, I have to say. I mean, I've done a lot of scanning of this grid, and... I could still be missing something, no doubt about it at all. 
I mean, I know that one of these is green and one is orange, and I don't know which. I know that is green or orange. I don't see how I can know which. If it's orange, that's also orange. And that's orange. That'll be orange. It's fine. If it's green, hmm, that's green. Interesting. It's quite interesting. Um, and what else happens to green? Obviously, that's green. Nine is green in that case. So it's in all of these positions, and that finishes off green. Oh, I don't know. I don't think that does anything either. Oh, this is frustrating. Just getting totally stuck in a puzzle. I am keen to finish this for the new year, I have to say, but but I do feel rather rather trapped at this point. Um, okay, come on, it's got to be on the diagonal somehow, or maybe it is really thinking about this being five eight. So that becomes two, that becomes two, that becomes two, which is an interesting insight. You get a two up here. Purple becomes seven. That was the interesting thing. That couldn't be four either. Could it be three? Maybe there's a way it couldn't be three if this comes to pass. I don't see it. Oh, hang on. Yeah, purple, sorry, green is a six, isn't it? Hmm. This, purple and grey, are both looking at that digit. How long can it take to spot something like that? It's just vicious. That's yellow. Does that help? Please tell. Oh, hang on, hang on. It's not yellow. Three and six are not yellow. They're red. That's please a better help. Well, does it help a bit on the totals? That's not red. That is yellow or blue. I am finally going to part colour some of these cells. This one, though, I don't know. Oh, do I know the colour of this? I don't think so. I haven't really coloured these much at all in the central rows, the reds. There's an orange in one of those two. Mm, does that help with... Two, I don't think so. In the box or the column. Wow, I mean, that just took ages to find. Okay, so there's one more red in this row. It's probably not there, although actually that could still be a three. bet that's a three. If it was a six, six, ten, eleven, I don't know, there's no, there's no proof it's okay. If it was a six, let's keep going. That becomes a six. Orange is six in that case. You get sixes in all of these positions. Is there a problem with that? No, there just isn't. can't see how they can be. I can't relate this to these, these yellows as far as I know. 
haven't tried colouring all the yellows yet, but I just don't think it's going to do it. I'm okay, I'm going to do it now. I don't know what colours I've got. Let's do... I don't know. Oh, this feels so pointless. Right, let's say that one is a black shade of yellow. So that's black. One of those is black. It's five or eight. I mean, that doesn't get anything done at all. Okay, so that's an, I've, I've got to reuse colors now. So that's a purple shade of yellow and that one's a, what is this dark green shade of yellow? I mean, apologies to the colorblind. That one has to be there though. And it's one of those two. Um, black, don't know. One of these is black and it's five or eight. Eight is not dark green, obviously. Oh, that one has to appear here. No, it doesn't. It could be eight. No, it can't be eight. So that one is there. Well, that's slightly more coloring than I was expecting. So that is the dark green. Um, now that's not dark green and that's not dark green. Oh my goodness, dark green has to be here. This is basically seeing, I don't know, but that's right, isn't it? Dark green has gone there and there and there. It's got, well, and there, sorry, it's, it can't be here and it can't be here. It must be there. Good grief. Well, that does establish that that is not it's yellow, it's not a three. Okay, well I'm taking it. That is the three. Three is red. That's so weird. Um, now. Right, these, let's try and work out what possible combos work there in terms of the modulo digits. Two, four, one, and three as the minima is 10. So we need another 12. This one is blue or yellow, which could be a one or a, well, let's say a four or a five. So this could be an eight or a seven. It's from those possible colors, which are blue and yellow again. That one is four or five, yes, eight or seven. They are the same colors, right. That is blue or yellow again. So there's a pair there. Now, let's just see if my coloring got anywhere else. I don't think it really did. We had this, I never yet, I never colored one more purple, yellow. Um, and the black yellows didn't reach across into this box. So it's really weird that those dark green yellows gave me anything at all, but they did. That's not dark green. One of those two is dark green. One of those three, I, I don't know, it's not, couldn't be there. So that's not the same as that. They can't both be twos, slightly interesting. So the minimum value of those two cells is six, plus one there is seven, four there is 11, a three there is 14. Now it still leaves us all the values available in row five, column two. This is maddening now. It's extraordinary how you can tease a tiny bit of further information out of this though. Um, so, that was purple. I'm going to, I'm going to uncolor the blacks and the, uh, and that purpley one. It's only yellow, dark green that actually gave me anything here. So one of those is yellow, dark green. One of those three. Uh, 
No, that is drawing to a halt as well. That's so frustrating. A little bit of progress. Getting a lot on this 22 diagonal now, but it's still so variable in terms of what, what could go into the rest of it. There is a blue-purple somewhere here. We still need two more yellows in this row. See, if this green flash yellow was a five, that couldn't be yellow. If it was a two, is there a problem? If it was a two... Got twos in all those positions. We'd have to have one up here somewhere. We've obviously got one there. We'd need one there as well. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's go back to thinking about that being a 5 8, which also does make this a 2. Then we've got 4 in the grey, 6 in the green. So down here we'd have 2, 7, 1 is 10. These would have to add up to 12 exactly. Six, five, one, six, four, two. No, it's not. It's just not conclusive. Oddly, in that case, this couldn't be an 8, but I don't think that's actually a helpful observation at all. Wow, I've just gone over the hour, haven't I? And I'm totally stuck at this point. This flop-eared rabbit has got me on the run entirely. What is it that I can't see here? I mean, it... it it is not surprising to me that there probably is something that I can't see. I don't think this is an impossible puzzle. I just think I am struggling with it personally. Is there a triple somewhere? Because these... Oh, that is a triple yellow now. I hadn't even noticed this. So here we have two yellows and a red... If that was the red, which seems unlikely to me, if that was the red, it would be red-orange. Then this would be a three. Then nine would be red-green, and six would be red-orange. So that would also be red-orange, along with all of these. But it just doesn't resolve red, orange in rows four and six, does it? It doesn't fix them at all. That's the only way for this to be red. Then this would have to be blue. That would be a one. Hmm, for this to be a 1, it's quite interesting in that it means that you can't have a 1 in the blue cell here. The 1 in the blue cell would be at least a 4. I mean, it doesn't do it for the diagonal, but you can see that there might be an impact working its way across the grid somewhere. But how do you trace it through? There is also a three I haven't marked in one of those two cells. That's forming an X-wing with threes there. That can't be red, can it? I've only just... Oh, no, I haven't only just seen that. I've got the 369 in red here. In fact, I marked that off when I got that three... I haven't actually used it in any way yet. Have I got, does it clash with a, 
I've got to put one yellow and two blues here. Um, if that was yellow, it would be a five. Um, because it sees a two and an eight. Then that would be a five. That would be a five, because it's the other, it's the non-green flashed loaded. Yeah, okay. Hmm. So if it's yellow, it's a five. If it's blue, and it can't be red. If it's blue, it's a one, because it sees both colors of four, seven. Wow, that digit is a one or a five, which are weird and uncomplimentary digits to each other. I don't mean they're rude. I just mean they don't complement each other. They're not in the same modular set. This is quite an important place. Because if that's blue and a one, it has a reasonable amount of impact on the rest of the puzzle, doesn't it? We get a one X-wing there and there. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that. It would make that red. That's quite interesting. That would be a ready green color. It would make it red because it would be the third blue in its column. And that would be seeing three yellows. In fact, this is, oh yeah, but the alternative is a yellow five, which is, which makes this one a two. And I think because of the uniqueness thing won't work. So maybe that's the thing to concentrate on falsifying. If this was a yellow five, I'll go back to it. All of these become fives. There's a five here. And that, that is making the yellow green a two, isn't it? Which is making, it is sorting out the numbers here as five four on the gray and six on the green. So if that's a yellow five, then we get seven, one, <laughs> a two at the top. So unfortunately that just adds up to 10. And if that's a five, these add up to 12. Why shouldn't it be a five? I don't know, I don't know. Why does that stop these adding up to 12s? I'm sure it does. That couldn't be seven anymore. Ah, oh, there's something wrong with that being a five. What is it? What is it? Come on, what is it, Mark? Something doesn't work for that to be a five, and I don't know what it is at all. One, five, three, four, seven, that would be two or eight. Obviously, that's not interesting. Um, eight in the column would be either here or here. That's not interesting either. I have to try and keep thinking of other things that might help. And it's extraordinarily difficult. One of those is grey four or seven, isn't it? Why don't I know where? Because I just don't. One of those is now grey four or seven. That's always been true. What's the other one? It's the other of... No, it doesn't even have to be the other of one or five. We do need two blues, yes. So one of them is the grey four or seven, and one of them is one. So these can only be from one, two, four, five, and seven. Um, this is just not interesting stuff. Three, eight, two, five are used up as a triple here. Three is up here. 
but so is one of six or nine, the green one, not there. That is not red or yellow. That's blue. Good grief. That's a four seven. It is a color. It is purple colored. And that's literally doing nothing because one of those is purple now and doesn't help. Surely, surely to goodness it must help a little. I don't think it does at all. I mean, it's the seventh purple cell I've coloured. And then I'm just left with an X-wing on purple down here that is just not in play. One of them is in the... Uh, one of them is in the... One possible place is in this. So if that's purple, that's a repeat digit on the diagonal. I mean, that doesn't do anything, does it? Eight, nine. I don't think it does. Oh, it's fascinating suddenly colour this, though. And if that's blue, then it is. These two are red. My goodness. OK, well, this is something. That's giving me all my reds in this column. So I've got a blue and two yellows to put, but I've got all the blues in this row, so that's yellow. So this is red, and that's all the reds in the box. Well, this is red, it's not eight. Um, it's six or nine, it's got a color, it's orange. That is orange, and there we go. We've got a, we've got a number. Red orange is both there and there, and is a six. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's not true. This is not true. That is not necessarily orange. That could be orange. Ah, oh, stop celebrating, you muppet. That ah, is so depressing. Orange, green. One of those is orange, one is green. I don't know any more about where threes go. Maybe I could prove that that's not red now, somehow, but I bet I can't. One of these is green and one is a three. Then you've got all these uncertain ones in the middle box, the, the middle rows and boxes. Ah. Oh. Lordy. I almost wish I hadn't noticed that being a logical fallacy. Because if it turns out to be right, it would work and it would be very helpful. Okay, this column, we've got three reds now. So, we've got three... No, we haven't necessarily got three blues in this row because that's not necessarily blue. Hmm, that's interesting though. Because one of these is blue. Ah, oh, man, that's annoying. This sees all the reds in the column. I don't think it can be blue, but how can I prove that? It's not blue purple. It's not blue gray. It sees both of those, so it's not four or seven. So it's either one or a yellow, two, five, or eight. How could, if that was one, what happens to ones? They're fine. We don't have too many blues. That becomes two blues there and one there. Ah, uh, no, that would have to be yellow because we can only put one there. This would be a five eight pair. We'd have a one here. Oh, cripes. 
can just be a one. I don't believe it is, but it can be, and I can't rule it out, therefore. This cell sees a six, nine pair and three in the column, one, five, eight in the row. That is two, four, seven, which annoyingly are from two different modular groups, a yellow and two blues. It would have to be blue gray, or it would be a two, as if it was yellow, of course. Where is the two in this row? Why don't I know more about that? Oh, it's just weird. You can suddenly, that is five or eight because it sees a two and it's yellow. That one annoyingly doesn't see any of the digits in yellow. Uh, one of those is the dark green flash one of those is the dark green flash. Those aren't, because there's a dark green flash here. I don't know, I feel like I'm an inch away from knowing about repeats on this diagonal. I have a feeling that number probably does repeat on the diagonal, and maybe even that one as well. Ah, here's a thought. No, if that was a six, they couldn't both be repeats because they'd have to add up to 15, and that's not even. What am I meant to do? How am I meant to get through this? Is there some general rule that is, makes it all really easy that I can't see? I don't see how there can be. This is vicious. Mori Sensei is good. You are mean. Mean person. Or divine. Um, 9263 That sees a 1 8 pair in the box. Sorry, Simon. No time now. Um, so that's four, five, or seven. Is the one eight pair in the box any good there? I don't think so. Nine, two, six, three, one eight pair. That sees nine, two, six, three, and a one. Four, five, seven, eight. They're from two possible groups as well blue and yellow, of course. Oh, that's interesting. I've only just seen that the third red in this row is... That can't be red. Those can't be red. That can't be red. The third red in the box is here. Which is three reds in the row as well. Um, so the third red in this box is here and is a six. Good grief. So green is a nine and I've got a color. And orange is a six. And there's a lot of them around, I seem to remember. And I can finish off reds, can't I? Yeah, I think so. Wow, and reds are just done, just like that, all over, Red Rover. That's a nine, there we go. I think they're all done now. Um, I'm gonna take out all the coloring of, let's, all the coloring on red cells, because they're just done, okay, interesting. Now, in this column, right, seven. So these aren't both repeats because they don't add up to 15, right? That two. Come on, come on. 
if that's a 5 8 pair oh look we've got this 9 that's not on the diagonal anywhere oh, pity oh that's a 9 that's done it that's done it on this 9 10 14 we're meant to get to 24 aren't we 9 10 14 there has to be an 8 here and it's 8 2 that does it the diagonal finishes wow and now we've got four in this blue gray color my goodness me we get seven in the blue purple um what else do we get we get lots of twos and fives and things this blue yellow green flash is a five so now surely i can just finish off lots of cells that I've had pencil marked for a long time to there we're gonna get it done I'm gonna <laughs> this is finally gonna become a video don't believe it what an incredible puzzle that's not seven now nine seven two six three so that's not seven or five that's four this is two that's four come on come on keep going I can't do that one eight pair I can do almost everything up that's become a one this is a 2-4 pair. In fact, I know the order thanks to the 4 below in the grid. This is now a 1-8 pair, which is a deadly pattern. You must be able to do these cells. 3, 4, 6, 9, 1, 8. That's a 5. And then this is either 2 or 7. That's 7, though, so that's 2. Now look at this. I can just add these up. 12, 19, 21. That's a 1, which finishes off the deadly pattern. Let's get rid of all the colouring in the grid because we've used it. We don't need it. It's gone. And I've only got five cells left to finish. And I'm so happy about that. Five and eight. And Mr. Bunny, I can say Happy New Year to you. What a finish. What a puzzle. That is brilliant and painful and ow. Thank you, Maurice Sensei is good. Is God. Thank you for sticking with me on a movie-length marathon and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.